In the world of lawyer shows, David E. Kelly still knows how to deliver. His latest adaptation, The Lincoln Lawyer, based on Michael Connolly's novels, brings us into the dark and twisted world of Mickey Haller, a lawyer with a penchant for defending the seemingly indefensible. The second season of the series finds Mickey at the top of his game, but his success might not be long-lasting. Mickey used to practice law out of the back of his vintage Lincoln Town car, but his recent victories, especially the Travis Elliott case, have made him a wealthy man. He still drives the town car, but now he's driven around in a Lincoln SUV by his assistant Izzy Letts. With his newfound success, Mickey now has a downtown law office, with his ex-wife Lorna serving as his admin and paralegal while she attends law school. Her fiancé Cisco is the firm's investigator. Mickey finds himself in high demand, with interviews and photo shoots to showcase his rising star as a lawyer. Izzy reminds him to stay focused, but Mickey believes that all this attention is just publicity for the law firm. Along with managing his new law office, Mickey takes on a new client, Teddy Vogel. Teddy has been charged with trespassing and burglary after waking up from a night of drinking in the wrong townhome. Mickey's job is to get him out of these charges. On top of Teddy's case, Mickey must also contend with the reopening of a murder case involving his client, Jesus Menendez. His friend Raymond Griggs, a detective, has discovered new evidence regarding the murder weapon Menendez claimed he never owned. Mickey's personal life isn't without its complications either. During dinner with his ex-wife Maggie, he learns that her bosses at the district attorney's office have been taking cases away from her. Mickey, somewhat arrogantly, offers solutions and help instead of just listening. As Maggie leaves the restaurant in frustration, Mickey is joined by Lisa Trammell, the chef and owner of the restaurant. The two share an immediate attraction and spend the night together. Lisa later visits Mickey at his office, showing him a restraining order filed against her by a developer she has been protesting against. As Mickey navigates his thriving law practice and his tangled personal life, he will face ethical dilemmas and tough decisions that threaten to unravel everything he's worked for. Will Mickey be able to maintain his success? Or will his choices lead to his downfall? Don't forget to subscribe. Forget